As the world continues to be distracted by the Chinese coronavirus, the Chinese are utilizing order out of chaos to strengthen their global position. The true cost of this coronavirus, the loss of life and economic devastation, right now is immeasurable. But what can be counted is the money governments around the world have already spent trying to combat it. So far, it adds up to a staggering six and a half trillion dollars. In a class action launched in the United States, China is now being sued to get the money back. The lawsuit accuses Chinese authorities of negligence, lies and cover-ups. Do you think that there should be some consequences if in the end, you know, China was responsible for all of this? Well, if they were knowingly responsible, certainly, if they did, if it was a mistake, a mistake is a mistake. But if they were knowingly responsible, yeah, then there should be consequences. Recently, the New York Post reported China is denying U.S. claims that they are testing nuclear weapons outside of international law. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Zhao Lijian said the U.S. neglects all the facts and makes wanton accusations against China. This is irresponsible and ill-intentioned. Zhao went on to call the claim a complete distortion of the facts. But according to an arms control report from the State Department obtained by the Wall Street Journal, the Chinese Communist Party may be conducting tests within the northwest region of the country using low explosive power. The Economic Times reported, Indeed, China fired more than 100 ballistic missiles during testing and exercises in 2019, according to sources close to the U.S. military. Such a figure greatly exceeded what the USA and Russia launched, and it illustrates that China is not decelerating in any way its development of missiles for the PLA rocket force. China is attempting to overtake France as the third most powerful nuclear power in the world. Add to this China's military buildup in the South China Sea, a crackdown on democracy in Hong Kong. At least 15 veteran pro-democracy activists were arrested today in this very high-profile roundup, even though Hong Kong is still reeling from the coronavirus pandemic. Hong Kong's Democratic Party founder, 81-year-old Martin Lee, was arrested and driven to the police station as cameras swarmed around him today. Lee was one of many activists who protested against a since-withdrawn extradition bill that would have allowed Hong Kong residents to be sent to mainland China to stand trial. Authorities say the arrests were made on suspicion of organizing and taking part in illegal assemblies last year. And a global infiltration of the coronavirus response. French President Emmanuel Macron had a message for U.S. President Donald Trump. France will not block Huawei or target specific companies. That's despite a concerted effort by American officials to persuade its allies to ban the Chinese tech giant from supplying 5G phone network systems. Recently, China offered to help both France and Canada with donations of masks, but held the installation of Huawei's 5G over Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and French President Macron's heads. The United Kingdom has already signed on to using the Chinese cancerous spy technology, but the UK has recently had second thoughts after China's lack of transparency on the coronavirus came to the fore. The world's reliance on China cloaked in a one-world policy has to end before the Chinese century endgame directives infiltrate any further. John Bound reporting.